Hello again everyone, Edwin Lernard back once again. In this YouTube astrological segment, I'm going to be talking about the new moon in Taurus that will take place on April 26, 2017. Well, firstly, people, I want to get with you on the mean of the new moon. Most of you may know this, but as far, but for those of you that don't, the few that may not know, well, as far as the new moon in astrology mean, well, the new moon can be a period where about uh, initiative enterprise and new beginnings. It could be a very revitalizing and rejuvenating uh, period. Or this could be a time where one may embark on a new project or endeavor. Uh, this could be a time where you come up with some perhaps some ingenious way of moving forward. It could be a time where you may discard, well, what may be uh, prohibiting you uh, from making headway in your life. This could be a time where you pursue a new aspiration or aspirations and goals or goal with a lot of uh, energy and vigor. So anyway, and when the new moon takes place, well, uh, as far as it being in Taurus this time, of course, uh, people that are that have a sun, moon, or ascendant in Taurus can be impacted very strongly by this, although there is an impact on others collectively. But also keep in mind, uh, someone with the sun, moon, or ascendant in Cancer can be affected strongly by this as well, because of course the moon does rule Cancer, and Cancer is very uh, sensitive to the transits of the moon. So anyway, uh, the fact that it being in, in Taurus, this new moon, well, this could be a time where you might uh, have a new uh, plan as far as something of a monetary uh, nature. It could be where you might, uh, it might be a time for more peace and tranquility in your life. This could be a formulation of a new uh, idea associated with something monetary, perhaps uh, a way uh, to make money, uh, for example. It could, it, it may, it could be something new and different. It could be something that could be even innovative, or it could also just be uh, where maybe you might get uh, another job, or you're planning on getting another job at this time. And in terms of uh, finding uh, that as a new way to generate uh, income, because remember, the new moon is about discarding uh, what is prohibiting us uh, from making headway or some kind of progress in our life. And it could be about, this is the, the start perhaps for many people of throwing away what is not a, going to work for us anymore. And it could be that time for many where we get we embark on something new or we at least put the the thought process the the taking the initiative uh as far as planning on starting this new thing uh in our lives so it could even be the formulation of an of a budget it could be something connected with values because taurus is about values of course about perhaps even doing something Taurus like such as a gardening, cultivating. Remember that the new moon can be about uh, planting seeds, right? So anyway, also when the new moon is in Taurus, this could be about embarking on something or some new endeavor that's connected uh, with a lot of persistence, perseverance, and strong powers of concentration. Now, and also uh, keep in mind too, I thought what is interesting about this one, okay, this is at uh, six degrees of Taurus as far as this new moon is. And it could be uh, very uh, auspicious for perhaps starting something which will lead to a happier life, perhaps without uh, laborious uh, efforts. So those are some things to look at and consider. And it is the sixth degree, though, on the negative side. 
keep in mind that it could also be about trying to uh, accumulate money, resources, or what have you, and in, 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 in with a little bit of avarice and greed connected with this, without looking at uh, perhaps doing something uh, in an unethical way in, in some cases. I'm not saying in many, but in some, because that's what the sixth degree in Taurus can be about. So just be careful that you don't let uh, perhaps this need uh, for money become so all-encompassing that you're willing to maybe bend some rules that shouldn't be bent in, in order to attain uh, some kind of strong affluence or wealth. So. I think that's important to look at as far as this new moon in Taurus goes as well. Also look and see what house it falls in in your chart because it could impact that area strongly with me. I'm going to have the new moon in Taurus posited in my 12th house. So being in Taurus, well, this could be strongly about having that peace and that tranquility in my life and also a time uh, perhaps where, it, where it's going to be tied into solitude and seclusion. That could be, it could be a period for me that I'm going to start where I'm going to maybe get that peace, that inner peace as well in my life that I've wanted uh, for a certain period of time. And what's interesting too, like also you want to see, you can look at what aspects that, that it makes uh, to any any of your planets in your chart and or ascendant midheaven or any any uh, major influence in your natal chart now like with me it's going to make a sextile to my natal sun so of course this could be a very auspicious blending of those uh, emotional needs which is the moon uh, with the basic wants uh, w which is the sun and what's interesting is that the moon when the moon is in Taurus this could be about uh, creature comforts and, and one and, and that could be that emotional need and when you look at the with me having the natal Sun cancer of course the Sun uh, represents the basic ones and that could be some things connected with the home so you get the picture this could be a, a time for me then where I'll have that cruise guy where I might want to start something, perhaps a new home, that will have those creature comforts and strong appreciation for them. And it also, uh, what, what's interesting too, is that the sun is also the ruler of my fourth house of home and family. So there's a little bit of double emphasis on wanting these things connected uh, with the home. So it could create a very positive blending. And also, if you have the transit moon uh, making a sextile or trying to your natal sun in this uh, in this period it could also be a time where you can uh, get things a better chance of getting things done and being in Taurus with that strong concentration of energy being able to do so without having necessarily the distractions from others not allowing extraneous things to interfere with what you're trying to do where other people may be uh, in, in, in there might find some other people that might be a little exasperated at this time uh, it, for example but at the, but you will often be able to do things uh, in a way where you're calm and composed and collected this is a very good aspect so as far as a transit aspect goes and anyway Another thing to look at is the fact that uh, transit, uh, uh, I should say, uh, transit Mercury a retrograde will be uh, a, a fairly close conjunction to Uranus at this time. And you figure, well, how could this, uh, what does this have to do with the new moon in Taurus? Well, the thing about this is, is that this could add uh, ingenuity perhaps to the new moon and Taurus energy which could be 
a formulation, perhaps of some financial endeavor with an innovative spin uh, to it. The new moon, when it's in transit, could indicate doing something new and different, sometimes unique anyway, but the fact that you have the transit Mercury making a close conjunction to Uranus at this time can even further accentuate and emphasize this. The fact that it's retrograde could indicate that perhaps uh, the Mercury conjunct uh, Uranus in retrograde, uh, as far as Mercury goes, could indicate an unexpected communication from someone and maybe somebody that you had known uh, previously and hadn't talked to in some time. So those are some things uh, to look at as far as this goes. And anyway, people, that'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment for the April 26th 2017 new moon in Taurus and stay tuned uh, next time where I will be uh, continuing my uh, my series on guessing the zodiac signs two things I want to get with you on before I head out firstly the stars may impel but do not compel and secondly never isolate any single astrological element aspect planetary placement position configuration influence or what have you and make an analysis of a person astrologically speaking based on this alone because astrologically speaking the person is the sum of all their components in their natal chart and not just the one until next time people stay well